back to the No Higher Calling YouTube channel. I am many things. I am wife, mama, missionary, podcaster. I wear a lot of different hats, but one of my favorite is being a homeschool mama. I have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old that are in like official school, and then I have an almost four-year-old, two-year-old, and a four-month-old. So I am a busy mama of five, but I love homeschooling. It is just such a joy for me. I love educating my children and having them with me and learning alongside of them. And on this channel, I've done several different um, homeschooling episodes, several different videos, so you can feel free to go check that out. All the homeschooling ones are collected in a playlist. But in this video, I really wanted to show you the math curriculum that we are using and have been using for the past several years because we just are really enjoying it, and that is the good and the beautiful math. So with where my kids are at currently, I have been through all the math from kindergarten to third grade. So we've done kindergarten, first, second, and my oldest daughter is about halfway through third grade math. So we've been using this for quite a while, um, just working through it. My daughter, like I said, is about halfway through math three. She is seven and a half. She's very advanced in math. We just move at her own pace though. So that's why it has her in math three. And then my little boy is kind of kindergarten slash first grade in several different things. And so he is using math one this year. And we are just really enjoying it. So I thought I would give you a peek into the curriculum, into the things that we really enjoy about it, why it's been a good fit for our family. And if you're looking for a math curriculum for your homeschooling, um, maybe this will be the one that the Lord leads you to. Okay, so let's take a look at this math curriculum. So this is the Math 3 book. And um, some of the things that I love about The Good and the Beautiful is one, it's just beautiful. The curriculum is so pretty. Um, it has lots of pretty colors, pretty illustrations. This one in particular um, has a theme of kind of around the world. So in the story problems, in the artwork, in different things that you'll encounter throughout the book, it has that theme. My son is working through Math 1, and it has a sea ocean theme. So that's really fun. He's enjoying that. Boats, nautical things, um, animals that are around the sea. He really enjoys that. Now you may wonder right off, why is this like a normal book and this is in a binder? Well, one of the really awesome things that The Good and the Beautiful offers is they actually offer free download PDF printables of their math course. So you can get on there and I'll link this down in the comments. But for the different grades, I believe they currently have up through 6th or 7th grade math written. Um, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's about where it is. Um, they have the PDF that you can download absolutely for free and print off. So that has been a huge blessing. Now, why is this one not a free PDF? We paid for this one. We paid, uh, I believe it's about $50 for the math book. The reason that my oldest gets an actual physical copy of the book is because each math level comes with one of these, which is a box of manipulatives. And um, once we buy that year, she's my oldest, so once we buy the year for her, then we have the manipulative box and we just do the PDF print off for all the other children and they use sister's box from previous years. Um, so that really works out for our family. So we are investing in um, buying the physical copy of the book for the oldest, but I'm only doing that once. And then from there, we just make the copies. And I do, I just print it off and um, put it all in a binder and we're ready to go. But I love having the manipulative box. It's used all throughout the curriculum. I'll give you a glimpse inside that in just a minute. But it's used all throughout the curriculum to just give them a very hands-on way to learn. That's one of the things that we love about the good and the beautiful math. So it's beautiful, um, beautiful illustrations, beautiful artwork and designs, very just aesthetically pleasing. We really love the manipulative boxes. So let's take a look inside these manipulative boxes. We'll start with math three. So these are really nice hard wooden boxes that have a sliding top. You can just pull that off. Um, it's really great to keep all of these things safe. But in the math three one, it comes with this little board that just has some calendar work, temperature work, which is in Fahrenheit and Celsius, which is great for those who live in a country that uses the metric system like we do now. On the back, she has a graphing board that she can use. And then in this one, we have several things. We have different shape tangrams, 
Um, we have a little measuring tape. Um, those things did not come in the box. They're extra things that we use for games. Um, but we have little game pawns that are used throughout the curriculum. She has a 10-sided dice, six-sided dice. And then these dice are used for different games throughout with different measurements. So we've got gallons, cups, quarts, different things like that. Um, that is the Math 3 box. Then for the Math 1 box, I love this because it has a nice clock on the front. They do a lot of um, telling time in this one. So as you can see, that comes in very handy as we practice our clockwork. Again, this top just slides off nicely. On the back of this one, we have a dry erase board that they can use in their math work. This one also has a set of shapes, but because it's for a younger child, they are bigger, a little more easier to handle. They are also magnetic on the back, so that is very handy that you can use that. The board is also magnetic, so these shapes stick on it nicely, which helps them as they're constructing different things. Then we have um, some money here. We have left right dice for a game. We have a six sided dice. These are really nice quality, big wooden dice that are good for little hands. We have these different little clocks that they use to learn to tell time. And then there's all of these fun little boats that have different numbers. These come up throughout the curriculum for a variety of reasons, um, most often in playing games. But it's just a fun little hands-on thing for the children to have to keep them interested and engaged. Okay, so now that you've seen some inside of the box of manipulatives and how we use that and how we enjoy that, let's keep looking through this curriculum. I'll highlight a couple more things. Let's take a look inside the curriculum. So this is the Math 1 curriculum. And every lesson at the beginning will have this little purple section, which just gives some, I guess, warm up really to the lesson. And this one has you counting by tens uh, or counting from 10 to 50. Count by twos from two to 30, count by tens from 10 to 100. So this should only take a few minutes, but it's some good mental math work and just keeps them, um, kind of gets their brains started. Then you have your main lesson portion. So it teaches whatever the concept is. Again, down here we have a game, so we're gonna involve the boats in this portion. But it's just very open and go, very easy for the teacher. Tells you exactly what you should be doing, what you should be reading, working through it with the child. So you have your lesson portion. And then turning over, we have a review portion for every day. So this takes what you learn in the lesson portion and puts it into practice. Here you can see we're working on shading uh, 10 sticks. We've got some different coloring here, some shape work. I really enjoy about this curriculum that it incorporates so many aspects of math on a continual basis keeping them really refreshed in things. You know, we've got shapes. The next lesson, we've got adding, writing numbers. We have greater than, less than. So it's just a really good variety. And as you continue to work through the curriculum, some of those review sections will bring in more and more um, aspects of things. You know, so here in the review section, we've got clockwork. We've got addition. We've got some of this uh, shape. This is where you would use those shapes that are in the manipulative box. Um, some kind of geometric practice. We've got writing our number words. So many aspects are incorporated throughout. Another thing that I really like this about this curriculum is that they have unit assessments throughout the book. So I believe each book has either three or four of these scattered throughout the curriculum where it just stops and is a very thorough review um, of all the different things that they have learned. And this is really good for the teacher to be able to kind of gauge what do they understand and what do they not. There is a portion here where they do the work, then there's an additional practice. If they're struggling, then they can kind of try it again, give it a second go, but this helps me gauge um, how much they are learning. We don't do a lot of formal tests throughout our homeschooling. So this um, is just kind of that assessment that helps me gauge how much, they, how much they're get grasping. Um, throughout the lessons, I'm always checking the work, making sure they have a working knowledge. But this is something that I just kind of hand to them, hands off, and say, okay, go do these, and then mama's gonna come back and check without you having any help, and that helps me see kind of where we're at. Now let's take a look inside the Math 3 book. So this one is moving on, getting a little harder in the concepts. Still very much kind of the same style. We have, uh, this is lesson one, 
So we have the lesson that you are going through with the child. Again, this is just open and go. I don't have to prepare anything ahead of time. We just sit down, I read this to her, we work through the different examples together, work through these different problems together as she's learning the lesson and grasping the concept. Then every lesson has a lesson practice. This is where I'm a little more hands off. She is to be taking what we've learned that day and then put it into practice. I am there if she needs my help and my guidance, but this is kind of assessing, did we grasp today's lesson? So she works through this somewhat independently, but I'm still there helping, guiding, answering questions, and it helps me gauge how much of the lesson was understood and how much do we need to continue to review. Then again, as with the um, first grade math, Every lesson has a review and activity section. So this is just reviewing things that we have learned in the past. A very good assortment of different things. There's a lot of logic that is brought into these, especially as they get a little older. Um, you know, this is talking about different positions of lanterns. The green lantern is next to the red lantern. The yellow lantern is to the right of the red lantern. So she's just working that out. I really love the logic aspect that is woven throughout this curriculum but we just have this review section here. And she does this independently, working through this um, to kind of refresh those things and keep sharp on the different things that we've already learned. We'll flip forward a little bit more here. We're multiplying by hundreds, thousands, and 10,000s. So again, same thing, we've got the lesson practice, or we've got the main lesson continued over on this page. And um, we have some lesson practice. And then on this page, we have another review and activity. Same thing as with the other book throughout the, the curriculum, you'll come to those unit assessments. Again, I just have them independently work through these top sections. I check that if it looks like they're struggling or maybe they made a mistake, it could just be you know bad calculating. They really understood the concept, but they struggled in that one instance. I will have them then do the additional practice. If they're also struggling through that, I know that's an area that we need to go back and review more. Um, but I love these assessments. They're just great for the teacher to kind of get an idea of where they're at. Then you have your next unit, the overview, the things that you're going to be learning together. That's very helpful for me to just kind of have a quick at a glance. This is what is coming up throughout the curriculum. So there you have a sneak peek inside of the math from the good and the beautiful. Some of the reasons why we like it. Again, it's just beautiful. The artwork and illustrations are very well done, very open and go, which is wonderful for a busy mom that has multiple children. Um, it, I feel like it's a really good balance of teacher involvement, as especially with my older one, as I'm working her through those lessons, learning the new concepts, then also having some independent work where I can kind of turn it over to her. Um, it gives very clear directions, um, clear expectations of what they're looking for. And then I can work on it with my son on some of his math. I love the manipulative box. It's probably our favorite thing. I did not show you, but in the back of the third grade math, there's also some um, like harder kind of cardstock cutout pieces that go through with different lessons. So that's been kind of a neat extra add on to this math three. But we're just really enjoying using this curriculum. I feel like it reviews things really well. Having that review section at the end of every lesson really just keeps them uh, consistently going through past learned concepts to keep those fresh and to really work on mastery in those areas. In math three, they're starting to work on multiplication. So it has for going through a lot of multiplication tables, multiplication practice, as we're incorporating some flashcards and things. Um, so that's been really, really good. I love bringing in the logic aspect of it. I mentioned that earlier, but that has been a really helpful, I have a very logic based child. So they enjoy kind of solving those puzzles and working those things are very much like their daddy in that way. So that's a really fun aspect for that child. My other child loves the manipulatives. Every time we pull out the box, they get very excited. They know that a game is coming in the lesson. So there you have it, the good and the beautiful math. Currently what we're using and what we're really enjoying, like I said, we've used it for several years. I kind of plan at this point to continue using this. You know, every homeschool year is different. We always reassess where are we at? What are we loving? What are we not loving? What are we bored of? And the beauty of homeschooling is that you just have the freedom to change things up if you want to. Um, but this has really been a good fit for our family so far. I love that they have the free PDF. That's been a very affordable option for us, having multiple children and even being overseas. Um, it is difficult for me to get this 
international shipping is very expensive. So I have to kind of like plan the new curriculum to come when someone's coming to visit us. So it's nice having that PDF option that I can lean on and have as a free access resource. But if you have any questions about this curriculum, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I love chatting about homeschooling curriculum, but this has been something that we've just really enjoyed. I know there are like a thousand other math curriculums out there, and you may find something that you absolutely love. If so, I share it in the comments. I love not just talking about homeschool curriculum, but I love researching it. So I'm always open to seeing what else is out there and what you're loving about that. But the good and the beautiful has been just a really good fit for our family. It works well for us. My children are learning. They both really enjoy math, which I think is a positive. I did not so much when I was a child. So I'm excited that they're learning. I joke with my husband that I'm learning so much more on my second round of third grade and first grade than I ever did on the first round. Um, so we're just really enjoying this curriculum. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or, and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We plan to roll out a lot of more content, um, some homeschooling, some just random life homemaking things. But I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to joining you in the next video.